The Black Falls Bulldogs win their home opener, 5-2, 5-3, make that over the Drayton Valley Thunder. Brendan Ross factors in with a hat trick. I'll talk to Ross in a sec, but first, head coach Doug Quinn. So, Doug, we talked before this game, and you said it's just going to be about bringing some of the positives from the preseason and implementing them. You, you wanted your team to have a strong start. As much as they suffered the first goal, every time there was a bit of adversity, it looked like there was pushback. So what do you have to say about your team and the way they pushed back? Um, I've been really happy with... Uh the work ethic and uh, the commitment. Obviously, um, you know, opening night uh, tonight at home, the, lots of uh, energy in the in the stands, and I thought we were a little uptight early, and uh, um, you know, but we kind of hung in there. Um, I thought, uh, you know, at times we probably tried to do too much um, and and created, um, you know, probably too many turnovers and and. Probably took too many penalties too, but overall, um, you know, I wanted the team uh, to work hard and um, and you know continue to improve, and and I've seen that. So overall, I'm happy with the win, uh, but you know, coaches were never happy, so lots still to work on. So last night in Olds, you had three point performances from three key players: Jaden Jolly, Connor Dick, and David Brandis. Uncharacteristically, Brennan Ross was left off the scoreboard in Olds. He shows up tonight, and he's not left off the scoreboard at all. Three goals and an assist. What do you have to say about Ross? Um, <clears throat> well, he had a great game today. Um, super happy with uh, um, like the growth in him. From uh, he he was like our playoff MVP last year, and. Um, he's taken his game to another level. Uh, we had so many injuries in, in exhibition, like Harley could even rest him. Uh, I think he played just about every game. And, uh, but to see him get rewarded tonight, uh, um, he looks really strong. He's going to have a great year. So lastly, my last question, it's, uh, it's not really about the hockey, it's, it's, it's about this arena and we get a nice big group of fans, we get a ton of noise. What do you have to say just about the atmosphere and, and, and the, the citizens of Blackfolds, how they showed up and, and how happy you were really just with the, the, the energy in this place? Um, well, there's definitely a lot of energy and um, I don't know where they got all the horns, uh, it was pretty loud in there. so. Um, but you can see the, uh, um, the community, the, the support is just building. Um, you know, we had such a good playoff run last year. The community got behind that. And then, you know, to see such energy the first game of the year, that's exciting. And, yeah, it's going to be a good year. For the record, the horns were being handed out in the lobby before the game. Black Falls' next game is Tuesday night at the Eagle Builder Center against the Drumheller Dragons. Thank you for your time.